Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of the Audi Quattro, and it's being driven by a girl. A girl who has delighted the world by beating the world's most famous rally drivers on the rally track. In this video, I tell you about Michelle Mouton, her revolutionary Audi Quattro car, and the victories that will be remembered forever. The race to the clouds, officially known as the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, is one of the most dangerous motorsport events in the world, where six people have died and many more have been seriously injured. Located in Colorado in the United States, the track is unforgiving, with cliffs on one side and a deep chasm on the other. One wrong move by a driver can be fatal. The rules of the fastest class allowed virtually any modification to the car. A race engineer's dream, wasn't it? 600 horsepower was not the limit for most of the cars entered, and this race attracted monsters not to be found in any other competition. 12.42 miles, 20 km of twisty mountain track with an average gradient of 7%, 156 dangerous corners, and an altitude difference of 4,721 feet, 1439 meters, between start and finish. The weather at such altitude can change incredibly quickly, with sunshine at the start and rain or snow at the finish. This has deterred riders from taking part in what the Americans themselves say is a race for real men. And then, out of the blue, the Audi rally team. Having achieved incredible results in the World Rally Championship with their Quattro, Audi decides to come to America to prove that the famous four-wheel drive car can win everywhere and in any condition. The Americans have always been on Pikes Peak first, as they have had the opportunity to train on this difficult track all year round, unlike the visiting teams. They have taken part on Pikes Peak exclusively with their rear-wheel drive cars. Audi Quattro didn't surprise the local racers with its 450 horsepower engine. Not a big deal compared to the American V8, which could make 600 horsepowers and more, but the all-wheel drive was a real gimmick for them. The Americans didn't know what to expect from these Germans. They have rushed to our national race like a fox in a hen house and have made noise in the press. They intend to show all what all-wheel drive is, what they allow themselves. They were indignant, but surprises for them have not ended. This German all-wheel drive monster will be driven by a girl, a young French woman. With the look of a movie star who was not afraid to take part in the most dangerous competition on the planet, jokes about girls behind the wheel immediately crept in among the competitors and journalists covering the event. If they knew who Michel Mouton was, they would have kept their jokes to themselves. Michelle Mouton is the most decorated woman in the history of motorsports. She has been feared, loved, amazed, and made male racers feel unprofessional. Where does a fragile girl get the strength and dexterity to cope with such complex machinery as the Audi Quattro? Michelle Mouton's fame began when she was spotted in the Audi rally team. The manufacturer of the four rings realized before anyone else that four-wheel drive was the future. And in 1980, they created a car that forever changed not only rallying, but also the future of civilian cars. Having equipped the four-wheel drive car with a legendary turbocharged five-cylinder engine. To inform the whole world about its technology, Audi has gone to conquer the World Rally Championship. And words can't describe what this car did. From 1982 to 84, it has won four champion titles. Michelle Mouton herself had four wins and fought for the title, but unfortunately, it did not work out well. Before the start of the last race, where the title was decided, she got the news that her father had passed away. Heartbroken, she crashed her Audi before reaching the finish line a few kilometers away. The Audi team won the title only among the automakers, but Michelle cared less. It was her father, a big motorsports fan, who helped her to become a race car driver. Even at the age of 20, Michelle had never even thought of tying her life to motorsports. A guy who liked her invited her to the local rally as a passenger. All this world of crazy speeds took her so much that she decides to participate in the rally as a navigator. But her father unexpectedly got involved. He did not like the Peugeot 204 in which they wanted to participate in the race, and he did not like the self-confident Italian, the suitor of his daughter. Daddy made a condition. If Michelle breaks up with her windy boyfriend, he will buy her a car, which she will drive herself. Michelle didn't hesitate even for appearance. 
and in a few days near father's house stood a sparkling, freshly painted Alpine Renault, a 110, one of the best rally cars of that time. This is where the story of Michel Mouton begins. Having won many prizes and repeatedly put to shame the representatives of the stronger half of mankind. Michel's successes were noticed by the big car manufacturer, Audi. But back to our events at Pikes Peak, where a serious struggle begins to unfold. Michel drives to the starting line, the start. The Audi Quattro throws out pieces of gravel from under all four wheels and raises a huge column of dust and rushes off. With monstrous acceleration, the French beauty and the German monster rush forward. In order to quickly pass the entire lift, Pike's Peak must be very wide cornering while taking a great risk. On some turns, the outer rear wheel is almost hanging out into the abyss. There are no guards that would keep the car from falling off the abyss. One even small mistake could cost a life. Michelle was well aware of that, but continued to squeeze everything out of her car that it was capable of. Spectators were perplexed. How could such a small car raise so much dust in the air? Not everyone understood that at that moment all four wheels of the Audi were digging into the rally pavement with the madness of a wild cat. All four wheels spinning frantically. All four wheels are working for Michelle Mouton's victory. And her four-wheel drive monster brought her closest rival 13 seconds. An uncontested victory. The American who lost, annoyed with the second place, let off a reproach to Michelle, to what she softly and with a smile said, If you're a man, you can try to get ahead of me coming down from the mountain from above. The defeated American, of course, refused the second time of the day's shame. It was already too much for him. Team Audi and Michelle left the Pikes Peak winners, and the next year they came back and won again, setting an all-time course record. In 1986, Michelle briefly retired from motor racing. She had a wonderful daughter, Jessica. As you understand, the young mother is not up to the races. During this period, a talented racer only occasionally participated in races devoting herself to her family and new work in the field of autosports. Now Michelle is the president of the FIA Women's Motorsports Committee. After Michelle Mouton's sensational wins in 84 and 85, the Audi team went on to set records on the famous Pikes Peak climb. So Audi shocked America four years in a row with victories, leaving no chance for local drivers or visitors. Thank you so much for watching. Michelle Mouton's story is one of determination, passion, and overcoming obstacles, and it serves as an inspiration to aspiring racers around the world. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible stories like Michelle Mouton's.